Psalm 11 In the Lord I take refuge. How then can you say to me, Flee like a bird to your mountain, for look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadows at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes everyone on earth. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous. But the wicked, those who love violence, he hates with a passion. On the wicked he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot. For the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. The upright will see his face. Psalm 12 Help, Lord, for no one is faithful any more. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but harbor deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail, our own lips will defend us, who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked who freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. Psalm 13 How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, Lord my God. Give light to my eyes, or I will sleep in death, and my enemy will say, I have overcome him, and my foes will rejoice when I fall. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise for he has been good to me. Proverbs chapter 7 My son, keep my words and store up my commands within you. Keep my commands and you will live. Guard my teachings as the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, You are my sister, and to insight, you are my relative. They will keep you from the adulterous woman, from the wayward woman with her seductive words. At the window of my house, I looked down through the lattice. I saw among the simple. I noticed among the young men a youth who had no sense. He was going down the street near her corner, walking along in the direction of her house at twilight as the day was fading, as the dark of night set in. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. She is unruly and defiant. Her feet never stay at home. Now in the street, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfilled my vows and I have food from my fellowship offering at home. So I came out to meet you. I looked for you and have found you. I have covered my bed with colored linens from Egypt. I have perfumed my bed with myrrh, aloes, and cinnamon. Come, let's drink deeply of love till morning. Let's enjoy ourselves with love. 
My husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey. He took his purse filled with money and will not be home till full moon. With persuasive words, she led him astray. She seduced him with her smooth talk. All at once he followed her, like an ox going to the slaughter, like a deer stepping into a noose till an arrow pierces his liver, like a bird darting into a snare, little knowing it will cost him his life. Now then, my sons, listen to me. Pay attention to what I say. Do not let your heart turn to her ways or stray into her paths. Many are the victims she has brought down. Her slain are a mighty throng. Her house is a highway to the grave, leading down to the chambers of death.